I'm the chief engineer at AFN Bavaria. Well, actually, I, I was working for Fifth Signal Command, and uh, the security requirements uh, made me to look for another job because I did have the top secret clearance. I only had a NATO clearance, so I couldn't work on the new uh, equipment at the microwave station. So I was looking for other job, and I knocked on AFN store, and uh, f their st station manager at that time he said, "Yeah." I can start working for them. So they didn't have a position there. So he created a new position and asked me some questions, did some tests and said, okay, you're going to be working for me. And then in uh, 1985, I was able to start working at AFN Bavaria. Well, I started as a technician and uh, at that time I was the only technician at the station, AFN Bavaria at that time, or that time it was called AFN Nuremberg, didn't have any technician. So I was the only one and we started well, with the old technology like with analog technology with turntables, reel-to-reels, card machines, all kind of that. Uh, one telephone line at the station, that was it. Like I said, uh, I started that in 1985 and within the years with AFN we, I saw a lot of changes. We changed from, first of all, the changes were several relocations we had. We were relocating from the Bavarian American Hotel in Nuremberg to the William or Derby complex in Ferd and then later on in 1992 we relocated to uh, Filzek Rose Barracks and that time we were renamed from AFN Nuremberg to A AFN Big Gun and in between or after that we got uh, renamed to AFN Bavaria. That was uh, since we moved into the training area our station managers and the, the gar garrison they kind of thought AFN Big Gun since we have a training area, is a good name for AFN Bavaria. Or a uh, good name for AFN. Well, the, the highlights are the relocations and the technology, technology change. We changed from an uh, attic operation on the sixth floor in the Bavarian American Hotel with really limited space to a brand new renovated facility just for radio television station purpose. We had a three radio studios, we had a TV control room, we had a TV studio, we had a tech shop for repairs and uh, we had the interfaces with the telecom with the fiber connection to connect to our transmitters and to our headquarters in Frankfurt. Did you have internet back then or not? Until like At that time internet was uh, not really uh, popular when I started at AFN. We had uh, teletype and then we changed to one computer. It was a dust based computer system with one email address for AFN Bavaria. So everyone using that computer had that time used that one, one dust based computer system. How has it been having to keep up with the technology that just changes over the years? Well, that's uh, what you or what if you're like your technical work and like engineering, then you develop yourself into the new technologies. I mean, you always look in, we were always looking out for new technologies, new equipment. We used to go to fairs and looked up the new equipment. We checked with the companies, we asked companies for equipment that they provided to us so we can test it out. And, and that was uh, a good way for us learning new technologies and uh, integrating new te technologies into AFN. Be that time, a, the engineering team at AFN uh, Frankfurt and AFN Bavaria, we looked into like new mixer boards, new technologies, automation systems, and so we developed throughout the years all the new systems that got integrated into AFN. One big challenge was the relocation from the BA Hotel to the William Mortarby Complex, Building 34, into a brand new renovated hotel. That time it was really critical. Our bosses tried to uh, stay on the air 24-7 without any interruptions. So that relocation was possible with almost no signal loss during the switchover. We had managed with uh, telecom and uh, our internal uh, technologies that we had a live show coming out of the BA hotel 
and uh, one minute or two minutes later, we were broadcasting out of the out of building 34 in William or Darby Concern. Well, I'm I'm proud of all the work that was done at AFN Bavaria, and I'm proud of all the colleagues I've been having all these years. If it was soldiers or DoD civilians, uh, it was always a challenge, always new technologies, always. Uh, changes in personality and and uh, colleagues so it was an ongoing it was an ongoing challenge that you had all the time working together adjusting to the new bosses because every, every new boss had different ideas so adjusting to that was i wouldn't say it was not a challenge but it's always interesting and uh, you learned a lot from other people's and how you uh, adjust to uh, work and colleagues well, the, the, the good thing is about it, you, you see young soldiers, you have a chance to train the soldiers, you see the soldiers coming in. Sometimes, years ago, they, they got trained in Denfos or in, in the school, Army Broadcasting, did train the soldiers, got sent to AFN. And uh, these soldiers brought in new, tech, uh, new ideas. They got trained on voice train, they got trained on how to do the shows. So when you get the soldiers, they were trained on, on their mission. They, they had to fulfill, no matter if it was radio or if it was video, TV. That time we were still producing TV, breakaway TV spots. So we, feed it, we were feeding a TV transmitter with local information, with local produced spots. So it was uh, always something uh, different. And uh, that time we had uh, large editing systems for uh, video production. It was a uh, one room just with editing system and TV automation we had. The advice I would give him uh, is try to be part of the team. Because AFN, since we, since we are a kind of small team with a lot of missions we have, with a lot of work, with a lot of load that you've been added on your shoulders, I think working in a team and be a team member or try to become a team member is the best you can do. That is uh, one of the advices I would say. Try to be a team player when within the affiliate you're entering. It's, it's going to be uh, difficult because uh, normally I'm getting up early in the morning and coming to work and uh, make sure studio is uh, everything is working and everything is working right making sure the transmitters are working, making sure internet telephone systems are working, that's something you're going to miss. I mean, it's, it, it became a routine. AFN kind of becomes your life after so many years of working for AFN, and, and that's kind of gone afterwards. I'm not sure if I'm going to be long remembered, because the, the world is going so fast and changing so fast, so I think if... Uh, once I'm gone, I think AFN is going to adjust and it, it's still going to be working without me. And it, that probably the colleagues, young soldiers probably remember me because sometimes as what I saw, we had young soldiers came in as specialists. Later on, they came back as one of our bosses. So that's uh, one thing probably you're going to be see. And uh, that's something I saw over the years that, like I said, you saw an officer that was a lieutenant. Later on, he came back as our AFN commander or, or DMA commander, etc., etc. So these are things are going to be interesting because AFN is probably, there are some individuals at AFN I still know from many years ago, but uh, everyone is going to retire one day. And, and then the only contacts you have is either on WhatsApp or Facebook. Matter of fact, I actually have not really retirement plans. It's gonna be, it's gonna be something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a lot of free time, and I see if I can keep myself busy with garden work, with uh, still working electronics because I used to be, or we used to do component repair years ago when we got all the equipment, and we had to go into the detail into it, the equipment and repair parts and pieces and swap out resistors, transistors, IC chips. These days that's no longer possible because these days it's all a module. You turn in a piece of equipment to the manufacturer and get it repaired that way. There's no more component repair or detailed repair. Even computers are not being repaired anymore. You just don't replace IC chips. You don't replace uh, processors or anything else. You just 
the only thing you may repair is a CMOS battery. That's the only thing you do on a on a computer. I'm continue repair. I have a lot of friends with uh, broken equipment. I try to help individuals save money on repair costs, and as long as the equipment is still valuable, I see if it's repairable. That's something I've been looking into. There's actually no secret behind it. I'm, uh, I'm actually. I'm actually a coffee drinker, and and uh, what uh, what I been going through all these years with with the standard coffee makers. You know, we had issues when the the coffee maker was done, and and the coffee maker was left on over the weekend, and then you come in Monday morning, the the coffee maker was full of the coffee machine was full of stains, and you were sitting there had to clean it out to get a fresh coffee, and like uh, right now with the coffee makers. All you have to do is put beans in, put water in, turn it on, and it grinds your coffee, and there is your coffee, fresh. And you don't have to worry about uh, going too much uh, cleaning after a weekend, you know. Just, I think there are some, uh, we always had challenges. We've been uh, fighting for existence over the years because uh, reduction in force, it also hit AFN. We had to reduce uh, positions. We didn't get as many soldiers as we used to have. And uh, one challenge was when uh, DMA decided to create a superstation project and AFN Bavaria was not part of that superstation project. So I was trying to get uh, to talk to our bosses and uh, down the road we were able to convince uh, our bosses at uh, Sembach and at DMA, DMA that AFN Bavaria became one of the superstation. They, the bosses decided to come up before it was just the superstation concept with three superstations and after our uh, interviews and uh, suggestions and, and conversations DMA determined that uh, it would be a great idea having a, a three service superstation concept so they started the Air Force, Navy and Army superstation and AFN Bavaria actually became the Army superstation for the training area and all the Army assets throughout Europe.